China's and India's military boosts are thought to raise the risk that the two countries will be dragged into a second border war. In the context of tensions between China and India, there is no sign of an end to the Chinese media coverage of the war, which is inevitable. An estimated 140 Chinese papers have criticized India for aggression, claiming its territory and threatening the consequences if New Delhi does not withdraw unconditionally. China also rejected India's withdrawal proposal to pave the way for a bilateral negotiation. But could the Sino-Indian border war have the potential to explode again? India is not ready for war last month. The General Auditing and Control Authority CAG, sent a report to Congress expressing concern about New Delhi's defenses against the threat of border war. The Indian Air Force wants to maintain 42 squadrons equivalent to 750 aircraft to simultaneously protect two border fronts against China and Pakistan. But older aircraft such as the MiG-21, which had been in use since the 1960s, would soon be destroyed. Therefore, the Indian Air Force will only have 22 squadrons in 2032. In the CAG report, 80 new Akash air-to-air -air missile systems were received by the Indian military, 30% of these did not meet combat standards. Missiles do not hit targets. Lower velocities are required and frequently crash. The Indian Air Force has asked Verity Electronics Limited to replace its failed missiles. In addition, India plans to bring six Akash systems to six areas near the Sino-Indian frontier that serve as a defense and deterrent. But so far, border troops have yet to receive an additional Akash air defense system. Another noteworthy piece of information is that 40% of India's ammunition stocks will run out after only 10 days of war. Reports the CAG, China may have scrutinized India's report and combat capability to make a strong response, according to the diplomat. Time for China to run out meanwhile. The time for China to launch a border war is about to pass. According to the national interest, Beijing will hold a BRICS summit next month in Fujian province. The conference is one of the two most important foreign events for China after the Belt Initiative and Roadshow held in May. The summit is an opportunity for Chinese President Xi Jinping and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to seek diplomatic solutions, boosting economic cooperation. A war with India would harm this opportunity. Second, the Communist Party of China, under the leadership of Xi, is preparing the final steps for the 19th Congress this fall. Organized every five years, the Congress is the most important event for Chinese politics. This is an opportunity for Mr. T to come up with new policies and to consolidate power. A war with India near the time of the 19th Congress could have a negative effect. That's not to say that both countries have nuclear weapons and India may consider this option if it feels threatened. Thirdly, Chinese policymakers clearly understand the challenges that Beijing faces from many directions. It is unclear whether territorial disputes with India are China's top priority. Compared with other hot spots such as the Korean Peninsula or the South China Sea, the national interest concluded that Chinese leaders would have to weigh the costs and benefits of engaging in war with India in the next few weeks or months.